There's a lot of talk about a Wuhan virus vaccine. Russia claims to have created the world's first vaccine. It's called Sputnik V. It makes for great headlines, but is it a vaccine or a stunt? A lot of you have written to us with questions. Is it an effective vaccine? Who has certified it? Who will get it? How much will it cost? And when can one access the vaccine? Tonight, we'll try to answer all the questions that you've posed to us. First of all, what has Russia claimed? Russia says it has developed the world's first Wuhan virus vaccine. Russia also says that Sputnik V has been given regulatory approval. What does that mean? It means the vaccine has been cleared for mass use in Russia. It has got the approval by regulators to be given to the Russian population. Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, described this as a quote-unquote very important step for the world. In this respect, I would like to ask Health Minister Mikhail Albertovich Murashko to explain us in more detail. Although I know it works fairly effectively, forms stable immunity, and I repeat, it has gone through all the necessary checks. How does this vaccine work? How does it immunize the body? to the Wuhan virus. President Putin was quite the expert today. He had answers to all these questions. He also said that one of his daughters had been given a shot of this vaccine. It has a more specific effect. It forms stable antibody and cell-mediated immune response. I also know it well because one of my daughters was subjected to this vaccine. I think it means she took part in the experiment. After the first injection of the vaccine, her temperature was 38 degrees. The following day, it was a bit over 37 and that's it. After the second injection, the temperature also rose a little. But then it returned to normal. She feels well and the stats are great. When will the vaccine hit the market? Russian Deputy Prime Minister Golikava has promised to start industrial production in September. That's next month. Now, if you go by the website of the Russian State Register of Pharmaceuticals, then the vaccine is expected to appear in circulation by January 2021. Who will be the first ones to get this vaccine? Russia's health minister said that the vaccine will first be administered to risk groups like medical workers and teachers. What's the price of this vaccine? We do not know yet. Russia has not said anything about the price as of this evening. Now, there's a very important question that is being asked, perhaps the most important of them all. Is Russia's vaccine safe? Did Russia compromise on necessary steps in order to come up with the first COVID-19 vaccine? Let's look at what we know as of now. When did the trial for Sputnik V begin? June 18th. The number of volunteers, less than 100. How did Russia develop a vaccine in less than three months? Did it skip some required steps? Putin says no. What about those who carried out the trials? Many in Russia do not agree that Sputnik V is safe. Among them is the Russian Association of Cl Clinical Trials Organization. It told the Russian health ministry that the widespread use of the drug could be dangerous. Why is that? Because the trials began as late as June and less than 100 people have received the dosage. Similar sentiments are being echoed outside Russia. Anthony Fauci, America's top infectious disease expert, questioned Russia's fast-track approach. Last week he said, and I'm quoting, I do hope the Chinese and the Russians are actually testing a vaccine before they're administering the vaccine to anyone. It's a legitimate concern. So is the West just questioning the vaccine because the Russians made it first? Is there merit in their doubts? Yes, there is. The World Economic Forum says that an effective vaccine takes 10 years and more than $500 million to develop. 10 years is not an option given the situation, the urgency of the situation right now. So countries have fast-tracked the process, but shortcuts are not an option either. Vaccine production has many stages. There are pre-clinical trials on animals. Then there are clinical trials in three phases. Phase one, small groups of people get the dose. Phase two, 
hundreds of people are given the vaccine to determine the dose. Phase three, thousands of people are tested for any possible side effects and then it is cleared by regulators and given for manufacturing. But the Russian vaccine Sputnik V has not yet cleared stage three, meaning it is yet to be mass tested for efficacy and safety. So how is it a legitimate vaccine? The Russians say desperate times call for desperate measures. Their experts have cleared it and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with mass production. Well, here's something else that we must understand. The race for a vaccine is not all black and white. Countries want to make a political statement. We've told you about vaccine nationalism on this show. In the Cold War, it was the race to space. In 2020, it is the race to find a vaccine. Over the last few months, there have been accusations of snooping and stealing vaccine-related data. And now Russia claims it has won the race by developing the world's first vaccine. Well, Russia, very interestingly, has named its vaccine Sputnik V, which is quite a statement. It named its first spaceship Sputnik when it beat the Americans in the space race. Now, the first vaccine developed before the Americans is also Sputnik. The political point scoring is evident, and then there's money, potentially a lot of money to be made with the vaccine. So what does this vaccine announcement mean for people outside Russia, people like you and me? Will the vaccine reach you? Well, it will if the authorities of your country clear it. Russia says it has received foreign requests for one billion doses. Where are they from? That Russia has not specified. Reports say that the vaccine will also be produced in Brazil. Again, we have not been able to independently verify this. Clinical trials are reportedly expected to start in June, uh, start rather in the UAE and the Philippines soon. President Rodrigo Duterte of the Philippines has volunteered to take the first shot as a sign of gratitude and trust. But has Sputnik V been stamped by the World Health Organization? No, it hasn't. The WHO says it is in talks with Russian authorities. It will rigorously review and assess the safety and efficacy data. So there are two questions that, that authorities will need to answer over the coming days. First, is the vaccine safe? And second, has Russia prioritized national prestige over safety?